Tuesday, September 17th, 2013. One ounce of silver is $22. One Bitcoin is $127. Peace News Now is brought to you in part by friendsofweusecoins.com. Learn about Bitcoin at weusecoins.com. The US, UK, and France have agreed to bolster the Syrian rebels by providing more, quote, help. If that help involves the West arming Syrian rebels, then that is an act of war against the Syrian government and a clear violation of peace talks. This will only invite Russia to sink or shoot down any vessels or planes entering Syrian airspace in territory held by the rebels. By contrast, agents of the Swedish government say they will grant permanent residency to any Syrian refugee seeking asylum. Sweden already granted permanent residency to half of refugees in the past year. Now 8,000 Syrians who previously received temporary residency permits will now be offered full and permanent residency. Austria has accepted 200 refugees, and Germany will accept 5,000 displaced Syrians. Kudos to those who seek solutions for Syria that don't involve bombs. This story brought to you by friends of blockchain.info. Download the free Bitcoin wallet that syncs with your smartphone at blockchain.info. BitPay Inc., a payment processor for virtual currencies, announced this week that it has over 10,000 approved merchants in one 164 countries using its service to accept Bitcoin payments. This milestone was reached almost exactly one year after the company approved its 1,000th merchant. BitPay's merchant network is international. 50% are located in North America, while 25% are in Europe and the other 25% are in the rest of the world. Bitcoin lowers the risk and cost of accepting payments online. With pre-built plugins or embedded solutions for 20 of the most popular shopping cart platforms, adding Bitcoin as a payment option to a merchant's web store can be done in a few minutes without any programming code. Year to date in 2013, over $34 million worth of Bitcoins have been spent on goods and services through merchants using BitPay's platform. This story brought to you by the Sons of Liberty Mint. Trade value for value with fine silver quarters from the Sons of Liberty Mint. Four quarters to a troy ounce, the most divisible, usable silver on the planet. Order some today at sonsoflibertymint.com. Mark Schmitter is a peaceful 66-year-old commercial roofing contractor. He was recently released from jail after sitting 104 days for the crime of handing out pamphlets outside a Florida courthouse. Just a few months out of the cage, and the authoritarians have already invented an excuse to lock him back up. This past Saturday, Mark spent the morning standing on the side of a busy road waiting for the light to turn red. When traffic came to a stop, he walked between cars and distributed a double-sided sheet of paper. One side contained a petition form that residents could fill out and a message urging participation in Wednesday's city council meeting regarding red light cameras. The other side provided information on why they should not be used, arguing that red light cameras are all about money, not safety. When a law enforcer named Campbell saw this happening, he approached Mark and asked him if he had a permit to protest the red light cameras. Mark said no. Then Campbell demanded ID. Mark explained that he didn't have any since he wasn't driving. Campbell demanded Mark's name and date of birth. Mark agreed to provide that information to the law enforcer if Campbell could show Mark what law he had violated. Campbell said he did not have to do that and again demanded Mark's information. Mark didn't speak, so Campbell grabbed Mark's wrists and put them in metal shackles and took him to a cage. While this was happening, a man came out of a nearby restaurant and identified himself as a former county judge who recognized Mark from his last free speech arrest. The judge warned the police, quote, that's the last person you need to mess with. Mark was charged with obstructing an officer without violence and given a $65 ticket for a, quote, pedestrian violation. He was held for 12 hours before being released on a $500 bond. He's fighting the charges on First Amendment grounds. Only 500 valid signatures are required to force a referendum on the use of red light cameras onto the ballot. Out of 30 such votes around the country, cameras have lost 90% of the time. Peace News Now is on the next news network and is brought to you in part by friends of WeUseCoins.com and sons of LibertyMint.com. I want you to share this episode, and if you enjoyed it, send some Bitcoin to donate.peacenewsnow.com. I'm Derek J, reminding you that peace is the way. <laughs>